People say that Antifa and SJWs are authoritarian. Well, someone will have to explain to me what kind of authority Antifa and SJWs are trying to get people to follow. Social scientists? There are definitely the issues that leftists put themselves under pressure to try to include everyone, you know, so that no marginalized group feels left out. There is pressure to push against oppressive or potentially oppressive traditions. There is pressure to push against old ideas of authority and authority figures. There is pressure to push against oppressive belief systems that happen to hold a lot of power in this country. The belief systems that don't really have any power, really, who cares about? They don't have power. They, they're not going to do anything. But can this pressure be really considered a form of authority that everyone is supposed to adhere to? Can being against formal traditional authority somehow be authoritarian? So if you're not trying to include everyone, because you just don't care, and you don't care if marginalized groups are left out or are made to feel less than, doesn't that kind of make you a jackass? A selfish jackass? Do you really think you should be able to put out those kinds of selfish views out to the world for everyone to see, to essentially put it up on a pedestal, somehow without any social repercussions for it? We live in a society that's supposed to be about being civilized. We essentially threw that away when we put into power someone who thrives on being offensive, obtuse, pig-headed, and extremely selfish. So we may not be able to do anything about the person in power, but we can at least say something when we see others putting those types of views and attitudes up on a pedestal. Those views and attitudes are pretty much what make this country look like shit. Especially to outsiders. But you know, apparently, that's how you're supposed to make America great again. By celebrating everything that's wrong with this country, and trying to take us back more towards a time when we were even shittier, as far as social stuff. Unless you're a straight white Christian male, of course, you know. And it doesn't really matter how peaceful someone is when they promote those views and attitudes. They're still those views and attitudes. You can shine up a turd all you want, but it's still a turd. But is it authoritarian to push against those views and attitudes? If not, does it suddenly become authoritarianism as soon as violence comes into the picture? Look out! Pol Pot! Look out, they used violence or are threatening violence. It's Stalin all over again. Oh no, they believe in some sort of form of wealth redistribution and helping the poor and universal health care. That means they want gulags and re-education camps, right? But, 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 but they're using the same mechanisms. Well. That kind of argumentation can be used to declare that just about anything will lead us to Stalin, or even Hitler, for that matter. I grow very tired of this rebranding of McCarthyism. Is it the idea that the push against being offensive, or otherwise known as the push for political correctness, a form of authoritarianism? Is political correctness a form of authoritarianism? Some people certainly go over the top in declaring what people shouldn't say in the name of not offending people. But is that really authoritarianism? What is the ultimate authority that people are supposed to follow? Or is this all about just the sense of not wanting to offend people? Is this authority some form of a supernatural power or something? You know, something that people are supposed to cower to? You know, something where people are supposed to know their place? Is there some rule book with a set of dogma that you're supposed to feel eternal guilt if you don't follow it? No? Is there even just an authority figure or a panel of people that we're supposed to look up to and respect and, you know, look up to for the ultimate guidance? No? Where's the authoritarianism? If Antifa and SJW are authoritarian, where is their push for structure? What is everyone supposed to act like under SJW authoritarianism? 
If everyone is supposed to act the same under SJW rule, and everyone is supposed to only have the same ideas, what are those ideas? And under whose authority are those ideas being declared? Can ideas be authoritarian for simply competing with well-established authoritarian ideas? Of course, we know that SJWs and Antifa are not just some monolithic force. We know that they are varied in ideas, in creativity, in personal aspirations, and so on. They don't believe in spreading just one idea, declaring that everyone needs to think the same. Otherwise, they wouldn't argue amongst themselves so much. The fact that it's harder to get the left to agree on anything is part of the reason why the left is so prone to individualism, regardless of how ignorant some youth are. SJWs and Antifa may have politics that are similar to each other, but the cultures that intersect them are hugely assorted. If you hear me say this and you want to argue that SJWs are pushing some sort of cookie-cutter mindset, you know, they want everyone to be cookie-cutter, and you think there's some greater authority that they want everyone to bow down to, then go ahead and explain. The fact that a lot of people hate Trump doesn't make people cookie-cutter. It simply means that there's actually something big enough to actually bring the left together for a change. Trump derangement syndrome goes both ways. Some people are still just unwilling to admit or may not even be fully aware of how bad Trump really is. They treat him as if he's just, just any other president. Some people are also still not fully aware of how bad the current Republican Party that is in power actually is as well. And they act as if the Republican Party somehow has the best interests of everyday people at heart. Ugh, the wool that's been pulled over people's eyes. Sure, walk away from the liberals because you're tired of hearing about social justice. You'd rather support the party that's shown over and over again to not care about anyone except their rich friends and corporations. Because, you know, the desire for social justice is authoritarianism. And being an independent thinker and being for a free market and a free society is, is all about being satisfied with injustice, right? Because after all, injustice is a part of nature, right? Life isn't fair. Buck up and take it like a man, right? Because complaining about injustices is for cucked snowflakes, right? When it comes to authoritarianism, is it the aspect of not being able to say, you know, without any repercussions, your opinion, if it's from a socially conservative viewpoint, that essentially pushes selfishness and pushes apathy towards those that are not in the majority? You know, socially conservative viewpoints. The views that minority immigrants and Muslims are the country's biggest problem. That Mexicans take away jobs that Americans really want. That race issues would go away if black people stopped complaining. That police brutality would go away if black people acted more like respectable white people. That it's important that white people get special historical and social recognition, just as other groups get that recognition. That the way to stop unwanted pregnancies is for women to close their legs. That women have an unfair advantage in the workplace when they're sexy. That LGBT people need to stop making their LGBT status known if they want to be treated better. That women who don't want to be raped should dress more conservatively. That people don't respect authority enough. That the problem with America is that people don't respect traditional values anymore. You know, any one of those types of fucked up backward viewpoints. Yeah, are you mainly just upset that those kinds of fucked up backward viewpoints are not given the time of day and are immediately tossed away like the garbage they are? Are you upset that those kind of views are demonized? Is that authoritarianism to you? Is the demonization of what used to be standard mindsets all across the U.S. something you just can't bear to look at? For instance, is it authoritarianism to state that the Confederate flag is a symbol of oppression? Is it authoritarian to expect the president to say that Nazis are bad? Should we embrace all mindsets that have power and respect in this country? 
the traditional things in particular. And if we push a mindset that says not to embrace those things, that's authoritarian. Are all ideologies and viewpoints created equal and should be respected and defended at all costs because free speech? You know, unless of course it's uh, Muslim or progressive ideas and then it should be bullied out of existence? Now yes, I understand that there are a variety of ways that the government can be authoritarian, but that's simply not what most people are promoting. You can't claim that universal health care is authoritarian. You can't claim that a living wage or unions is authoritarian. You can't even claim that a maximum wage law, based on percentages of how much one pays the employees below them, is authoritarian. I mean, I suppose you could, but it would be stupid. I mean, you have ANCAP fucktards who think that taxation is authoritarianism. Are you going to go that far, or are you going to actually claim that authoritarianism requires something to be oppressive? Does not being able to, without consequence, does not being able to freely say bigoted and or ignorant and or completely apathetic things about women and minorities cause you to be oppressed? Is it time for me to get out the miniature invisible violin? You know, is that authoritarianism? So okay, there are some people who are pushing for the end of capitalism. Is that authoritarianism? Well, I guess it would depend on what they're pushing for besides the end of capitalism. It would depend on a lot of things. Now yes, one can point at leftist tyrants in history and say, See? Anything that takes us more towards the left will bring us more towards that kind of rule. So let me scare you with Pol Pot and Stalin references so you'll shut up. But as you can tell by this video, it won't do much good here. It does as much good as bringing up Hitler any time something even remotely right-wing is mentioned. But seriously, what I think a lot of this boils down to is that when people are used to following authority, which religious right-wingers tend to like to do because they believe in a hierarchy where ultimately God is at the top, anything that decentralizes that authority but still has power will feel like authoritarianism. Because if the ultimate authority isn't God, it must be something human, which is the government, and is therefore bad, and must therefore be labeled accordingly. Anything will feel like authoritarianism if it takes away from God's authority. And so when I see some atheists on this platform, who claim to be for individualism, defending real authoritarianism, like the idea that people should comply, obey, respect, and admire law enforcement, for simply being law enforcement, that people should respect Donald Trump simply because he's the president, that people should respect traditions, basically the idea that we should respect the hierarchy and respect authority. Yeah, when I see these same people claiming that SJWs and Antifa are the real authoritarians, oh, they're the real fascists, and look out, Stalin! Yeah, I'm just taken aback. So yes, you're going to have to explain what kind of authority SJWs and Antifa are trying to get everyone to follow. What rules do they want people to follow other than the whole PC thing? What way of life are people supposed to have? What, besides violence, does Antifa believe and promote that in any way resembles fascism? Since, you know, people are saying that Antifa are the real fascists. So take away their violence and then show me where their fascism is. If you can't, then your argument goes straight to the trash compactor where it belongs. Or again, is this all about being able to say, without any repercussions or consequences, is this about being able to ridicule women and minorities, many of the things I've talked about earlier in this, in this video, to ridicule those who don't follow conventional or traditional enough of standards? Or is it the fact that along with that, that the other side is able to, without significant repercussions, ridicule the majority and those who do follow conventional and traditional standards. Now that's certainly something to be upset over, but is that authoritarianism? Take note of something. I mean, sure it happens, but not that often. So when is the last time you saw or heard people ridiculing a Christian for personally sticking up to their own personal religious convictions in something that only affects them. It's pretty rare, isn't it?
It's generally only when people start judging other people on their religious convictions that it becomes a problem. If it only affects them, then who cares? It's fine to say, I can't do this because of my beliefs. But it becomes a problem when you start saying, you can't do this because of my beliefs. Or, I'm going to criticize you because you don't follow my beliefs. It's fucked up. Nobody freaks out over a nun wearing a head covering. People will say that the nun is very devout. Rarely would you hear people say that the nun is being oppressed. Sure, it happens once in a while, but it's not the usual. But just change the outfit a little bit and it suddenly becomes a Muslim outfit, and suddenly it means oppression and terrorism and something to be furious over. And because of that fury and outrage, it suddenly somehow becomes admirable to either try to take that person away from their religion, or to insult them for following that religion. And if there's any force at all, suggesting that it's kind of silly to be furious over that sort of thing, is that authoritarianism? Is a bunch of SJWs banding together and saying that this or that is offensive, and whoever it is caves in and eventually removes whatever it was that was offending people, is that authoritarianism? If so, then again, please describe what authority people are supposed to cower to. Otherwise, as far as I'm concerned, it's just people ganging up on someone, and in some cases it's bullying, which is messed up, but I certainly wouldn't consider it authoritarianism. So yes, there are indeed people on the left who push for authoritarianism, but are those people the SJWs and the casual Antifa members? It doesn't seem that way to me.